Welcome, 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 everybody, to Fashion Victuals Radio right here on RipRadioNetwork.com. Happy Wednesday, happy Hump Wednesday. Um, I'm still trying to get through my Wednesday. I have a lot <laughs> going on right now, but we have a special guest in the building, Miss Felta. Hello, everybody. Hello. So today, later today, Felta is going to talk about hair and skincare with us, which is going to be interesting because especially around this time. The, the, the weather itself can do dryness to the hair, dryness to the face, dryness to the hands, feet. Right. So this is actually going to be really good to discuss today. So welcome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. No problem. So how has your Wednesday been treating you so far? <laughs> <laughs> well, my Wednesday was, uh, you know, pretty just busy with um, um, n not really beauty things today. Okay. But just mommy things and mommy things um, are always good yes very 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 wonderful <laughs> um and you know just getting ready to come here and awesome. just um thinking about what i'm gonna share with you guys so <laughs> yeah um well of course we're probably it's, gonna it's been pretty good awesome. pretty good i awesome. cannot complain well again like i said today is hump wednesday so um it's been a lot going on in my world and uh I hope my, you know, so understanding producer knows that um, I'm only late because certain <laughs> things are going on in my life. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, be I think happy, this is be happy the fact that we, we we have you know you know. I think this is two Wednesdays in a row. I mean, if this was school, you'd be having detention by now. I but know. <laughs> I know. So, but you know, since you know we're we're able to you know feature artists like Miss Julia, Miss Shante absolutely, Usual. So, absolutely. and again, happy birthday, Miss Shante Usual. We had happy a birthday, birthday this week. Shante. And and everything. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I it's DMV traffic. <laughs> so yeah. that's all we can. Yeah, but somehow that complaint can disappear if we can do, you know, reading out teleportation sometime soon. So, or flying cars, whichever yes. one comes first. Yes. Oh, I did see a video of uh, some guy flying through Dubai on a flying glider. I mean, like it, he was like up he was there for in like a Star Wars movie. Yeah, he was like up there for like a good twenty minutes. It was really cool. I was like, that's interesting. Yeah, and it, you normally like you, when people quote unquote fly, it, it's usually like some weird jetpack that's. Uh, fueled by water, and you're, you're yeah, just hovering yeah. around on water. No, this guy was in the air, like it was. How high. far in the air? Like almost where a bird could be flying up in the air. A bird? Yeah, that that's, high. Uh, that's quite a bit for 20 minutes. Yeah, he was up there for a good while. Did they say what rate he was going? Uh, he was up there for, uh, you know, maybe, I wouldn't say a, maybe a half a mock, you know, maybe a quarter. I mean, it was it was speed good. He got a good about distance and speed. So interesting. So yeah, I would do it. I bet you you would do something <laughs> like that. Hey, you know, if James Bond could do it. I can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, we got fashion victuals news coming up, and also we're going to get into our interview with Miss Vanna. Delta. 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 I'm so sorry. I don't know why oh, I just called my you. God. God. I'm so oh, my sorry. God. That's okay. That's okay. That sounded good too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Blame traffic. <laughs> Today has been a crazy Wednesday, and it isn't just traffic on this Wednesday. That's but Miss Delta, mm -hmm. we're going to get into the interview with you after our fashion victual news. So we're yes. going to take a quick break. Another quick one. Yes, <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to jump into fashion victual news right here on Fashion Victuals Radio. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to Fashion Vintage Wolves Radio right here on ripradionetwork.com. Excuse me. As you see, we have our guest, Miss Felta, here. See, I did it right. Hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> it's kicking in. Yes. <laughs> so, we're going to jump right into Fashion Victual News. Brian, what do you have for us? Yes, Fashion Victual fix, 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 fix. See, Oh, It's that coffee. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's the wrong coffee. Anyway, Fashion Victual News brought to you by nothing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we all know it's been Fashion fix, uh, fashion, fix, fashion Week up in New York. Uh and yes, there was a, a good high amount of notable A-list stars uh, walking the runways uh, at New York Fashion Week. But at the Namilla show, this is where it became interesting, uh, the models that uh, were featured uh, some very unique Chinese-themed uh, outfits uh, were mostly Asian-Americans. So most of the models were mainly Asian-Americans. So it's not many shows had featured, you usually features white or black. Okay. But anyway. Uh, but these ladies stood out. Uh, okay. Jade Kush, Marcia Hayes, and former AVN Female Performer of the Year, Asha Akira. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. These ladies are all adult entertainers that walked the runway oh my. Uh, to not only to promote this elaborate clothing. Oh my. Uh, but all, which was entitled Herotica. Pretty much they were promoting uh, sex positive and females, female empowerment uh, in the show. Uh, Asa Akira, which we'll get to, she'll be coming up very shortly because she had this very uh, elaborate outfit uh, oh that I believe God. you would really like. Um, that's not uh, Marcia, but the first lady you saw was Jade Kush. Uh, mind you, keep in mind, uh, Namila was also uh, partnering up with Pornhub. Yes. No or, kidding. It yes. shows yes. on their So, and this is also the Kira. This is her outfit that she came out in. Uh, it had pretty much the theme was about sleeves I like at New hair. York Fashion Week, which had oh long sleeves. <laughs> and uh, if you check out the sleeves once she raises her arms, you'll have a nice little word called, yes, cock record. <laughs> so, oh, oh. so, but anyway. Uh, also mentioned the fact of why she uh, did the show. She said, uh, Namila's message completely aligns with Pornhub's message uh, and my personal message, which that women can fuck and we are sexual beings. Uh, I kind of uh, resent when people assume that sex is something that women do for men or give to men. Oh um, so here's some other elaborate uh, outfits that were at the Namila show. Mm. So if you feel want to critique, uh, again, it's mostly Asian themed, so you saw a lot of dragon patterns and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, there was actually uh, something very interesting. There was like a person that came in a, in a uh, Chinese takeout box, so which uh, was kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, so that was the Mila. So comments that he, based off of your look you got this weird she's on street. fire yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you what have this in... <clears throat> yes what? i don't know it's it's art it's art it's an it's expression it's an expression it absolutely is an expression yes it is <laughs> with a very well-known porn site written all over it um <laughs> your look it's very interesting. Very. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on. <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around that part of Fashion Week and that part of fashion. I think, well, for me personally. Honestly, yes. the way that it was designed was really nice. Mm -hmm. The message on it, yes. not so much. Oh. But that's just my personal mm -hmm. opinion. That's like, I mean, let's be clear. Fashion Week is Fashion Week. I've, I've seen a lot of things walk across the Fashion Week stage. But this is a first for me with the Pornhub written all over mm -hmm. the clothing. <laughs> That's a new one. Hey, but I get it. You gotta, hey, maybe we'll see it on uh, NASCAR next week. Or, you know. uh, <laughs> hey, guys, it's, here. it's 2020. Come yes, on. That is yes. True. It's yeah, 2020. That is true. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of 2020, <laughs> let's put it this way, RiRi fans. That's right, RiRi oh, fans. Oh, I love RiRi. Uh, Riri. Got some amazing news on Valentine's Day weekend or Did President's she get Day weekend. she got proposed to? Uh, she's been single for a minute now. I thought so. she was dating that yeah, billionaire. So no, yeah. they broke up. They broke up When? Already? They we broke don't. up like a month ago. 
Oh, Brian. And like, we didn't know. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. All right. So, again. That was only a month ago. Yeah, only a month ago. Okay. Anywho. Riri fans got some amazing news on Valentine's Day weekend, or more like a tease, when Rihanna posted a picture on her social media uh, of a record deck that had the name Neptunes the being Neptunes. displayed. Neptunes. Okay. With the comment saying, gang, back in the stew. Oh. So, so that means R9 is in the works. Okay. Also, uh, she did a uh, sh showing of the behind the scenes of her coffee table book, so which has been. She has a some, coffee table book yes, now. Yes, pretty much is like a lot of pictures of, you know, within the, her life. So, it's, which has been really, really good, getting a good response. And of wow. course, uh, she made, of course, the announcement of her getting the President's Award at the upcoming NAACP oh Image my gosh. Awards. So, a lot of good things. A lot of, that was the good high for Miss Riri. I'm all for now, Rihanna. Here's, I love Rihanna. Yes, but here's an eyebrow raise. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. So this last week, uh, reports came out that Savage Fenty is being accused by a mm -hmm. nonprofit group called Truth in Advertising, aka Tina, uh, that Tina. filed a complaint to the FTC, that's the uh, Federal Trade Commission, and the Santa Cruz County DA, DA's office for Savage Fenty customers claiming that they unwittingly signed up for a $50 membership to their website after purchasing something. So pretty much the claim, uh, the TNA spokesperson, uh, Shana Moeller said this, uh, the ad itself doesn't disclose what you're buying. Mm -hmm. There's also a little extra item in your shopping cart that says membership there, but there's no price next to it and it's just a little X. So that was okay. Tina's complaint. Uh, Savage Fenty spokesperson uh, Emma Tully, she countered it by stating the fact that we believe strongly in transparency, uh, which is why we provide multiple disclosure of membership terms throughout the shopping experience uh, within adver uh, advertising and through our ambassador engagement pr uh, program. So here's the thing. Savage Fenty is sold through a uh, website called, or a tech, uh, fashion group, Textiles Fashion Group. We know Fenty itself is part of the LVHM brand. Yes, Louis but Textile, Vuitton. But Savage Fenty goes through Textile Fashion Group. Hennessy Moet. And which is described as itself as an online subscription retailer. Uh, right now, the FTC and the Santa Cruz uh, DA office are currently investigating, but we will keep you up to date to see what happens to Miss Riri. So right now, it's like, Really, the blame is, is is textiles because since they base everything off of a subscription, mm -hmm. it's really on them. But since Rihanna's and Sab Venti is the bigger notable brand, right. they're blaming her. So really, it's textiles. It's, it's, it it's textiles. Yeah, oh. got it. Exactly. Um, yeah, she'll figure out how to get out of it. She got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure she'll have a lot of help. That's something like minor for her to deal with based on everything else that she has going on. So I really don't see how this is going to become yes. a really big issue. Mm -hmm. And really, she won't deal with it because She's she not. has people that will deal with it. So. Yep. She'll be fine. She probably hasn't even brought it up, talked about it, none of that. No. It's like, oh, you're getting sued. Oh, oh I am? All right. Exactly. <laughs> so that's that's Riri. So anyway, um, so I know Ms. Velta went, you know, she came back from Orlando. She had a nice little trip down oh, there. Oh, so, nice. Um, I did. But I uh, did, you, did you go to Disney World, Disney World? <laughs> No. Oh, see. No, I did okay, not. You're smart. Well, my, nep my nephew is actually not. going to Disney World next month. What are you going to tell me about Mickey? Well, here we go. Well, oh, as, oh, as I say this, here's the first thing. Uh, Disney Thanks, announced. Ryan, you're going to ruin my baby. No, no, no. Here we go. Dis as Disney announced, uh, Disney Paris will be creating a uh, frozen land space. Oh, so nice. based off of the famed movie mm -hmm. uh, on their property. But that's uh, Disneyland Paris. Paris. That's right. Okay. So which will be completed by 2023. Now. As they say all that, um, they're, they're also been made announced to their U.S. sister lands, Disneyland and Disney World. Uh, they will be raising their ticket prices. Mm. So you're going to love this. For at, starting at Disney World, uh, for an annual pass for non-Florida residents, it has been increased from 12, that's right, $1,219 to almost $1,300. That's for a non-resident annual pass. Uh, annual pass? An annual pass. So that's all year round? Yeah. Which means? One person. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. So thirteen hundred dollars for a whole year for one person one to person. enter the park. Yep. <sighs> okay. <laughs> if you have a golden or a silver pass, that has been increased to twenty dollars. Um, now we could go to let's say at, into Disneyland. I've seen this coming. Yes. I've seen it as coming. for Disneyland, their annual pass, or better known as a flex pass, flex pass, has increased up to fifty dollars to two hundred to six hundred forty nine dollars. Uh, and their uh, primer pass, which is increased by $100 to <laughs> almost $2,200. What is a primer pass? Primer pass is kind of like an annual pass. So pretty much you... But what... But the, yep. the annual pass is cheaper. No, that's the flex pass. Flex pass, you can pretty no, much... No, no, no. Yeah? The annual pass is cheaper than the Oh, that's Disney. Pass. No, no, hold on. Again, the annual pass that I showed you, that was for Disney World. This is Disneyland. There's two different. What is the difference? They're different places, different things. Remember, the Disneyland they have is in the California. Same thing. I know. Right. But they have like the same thing. So. Not really. Because Disney World has Epcot. They now have the Star Wars theme parks. They have. I guess uh, they have some different parks. Yeah. 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 Disney okay. World, different Disney World has increased in a each lot other. lately. So Disneyland is pretty much the same. And yes, really, that's true. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now here's the other thing. If you're trying oh to if you're trying to find parking, um, if you're, tr if you're trying to have a pass of parking at Disneyland, uh, make sure you have enough cash because it'll be uh, has been increased up to two hundred nine to park your car to park your car for the day. Uh, not today. Just pretty much if you want to pass for it. So sure, that's pretty much your an annual day, annually. Two hundred dollar parking pass. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, you. So like I said, you be needing to sell your house, your kidneys, and <laughs> and God knows what else if you want to go to the Disney. greatest show in, in the world. So this is what I saw coming, mm -hmm. because you know Disney had launched Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. Right. That's when I said, you know what, this is about to be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Financially, everything's going to go up. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know. Disney Plus is what twelve ninety nine a month. I guess. I think so. I, I, I just did the free week and dropped it. Ooh, okay. Do you think it's worth it? Unless you are knee deep into Marvel, Star Wars, uh, which I am, but it's like I've seen the movies. I'm, I'm, if, that, if that's how you're trying to attract me, okay, I get it. I'm waiting for the TV shows. I try to. But you got Mandalorian. I never liked it. I saw that's um, what that free week. I saw the two episodes and I didn't like it, so okay. I dropped it. If I was, you know, if I was like anyone else, oh man, Lauren's great. Yeah, I would have kept it. But me, no, I wasn't feeling it. Six ninety nine a month. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's affordable. But but then, and if you're a FiOS user, uh, it's supposed to be free for a year. I got Comcast. Yeah, so we get screwed. <laughs> Crap cast. No, I don't get screwed. I just use someone else's account. <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, because I don't. The only benefit I see to having Disney Plus is if you have small kids, mm -hmm. they can watch little Disney movies and stuff. Or mm -hmm. if you enjoy Disney movies growing up, like you know the classics, yes, like the Cinderella open, and yeah. stuff yeah. like that. I could see that. But my thing is to pay monthly for it. Right. I don't see the benefit. No. Yeah. But. You know, people are like, okay, I got Disney, they, I got Marvel, right? I got Star mm -hmm. Wars. Now I can put this I, all together. You can see that with that again. That is the you're trying to tr attract the adult. No, no, no. I'm not trying to. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's what Disney's trying to do. They're trying to yeah, attract absolutely. The, the, the bigger, bigger kid. And you know, saying it's like, hey, we got Disney and Marvel. You like these things. We got Star Wars. So you like these yeah. things. You can see these shows, and especially now with the new shows coming in with you know. Um, Falcon and um, the Winter the Black, Soldier, and you know and the Black Widow's movie about to come out. Well, that's in the movie too. But then again, if yeah. you, you're seeing that in theater, you're not seeing it on directly going to Disney Plus. I feel like the Black Widow should have been on Disney Plus. I like the trailer. I think it'd be interesting. Yeah. So I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Last bit of story. And last since, story. Yes, and since this is Black History Month, we have a bit of Black History here. Happy Black History. Yes, Month. on February seventh, at a fit show again. Back to New York Fashion Week. Black History was made. <laughs> That's right. When model. It was what. Black History was made on this week, this oh, month, this okay. day. Okay. Well, let's talk Amy about Amy Lefer. Uh, was off was ordered. I heard about this. Yes, was ordered to wear a 
sex monkey mask that featured that big thing ears. Is frightening. Yes, big ears, big red lips down the runway. Yes. Uh, Lafer stated that I stood there almost ready to break down, uh, telling the staff that I felt incredibly uncomfortable with having to wear these pieces and that they were clearly racist. Um, she finished, I was told that it was fine to feel uncomfortable for only 45 seconds. Okay, so sadly, so as the show progressed, uh, Miss LaFerd did walk, walk the show, but with out the mask. Uh, and here's the cool thing, after she walked, she kept on walking right out of the oh, door. Yeah, so, so pretty much she said, hey, oh I did my God. thing, get me my check, and I'm out. All there right. There you go. So. Uh, wow, that is, oh my gosh. Yeah, that is frightening. <laughs> so it's on Monday, here's the thing, on uh, early this week, <laughs> the, the FIT president, uh, Dr. Joyce <laughs> F. Brown, uh, she made her, uh, pretty much the formal apology mm -hmm. by stating, uh, currently it doesn't not appear that the original intent of the design, uh, the use of accessories or the creative direction of the show was to make a statement about race. Uh, however, it was now uh, glaring and obvious that uh, has been the outcome uh, for that, we apologize to those who participated in the show, to students, and to anybody who was or has been offended that saw it. Um, here's the other statement that was added, was not put in here. Uh, found out the designer of those clothes mm -hmm. was Chinese. So pretty much not aware, claiming not aware of the racial overtone of the mask mm -hmm. as that was being portrayed. So that was like one of the quote unquote excuses. So, so because the person is Asian, it makes it right? That's what they're saying. That so doesn't the, make it right. Yeah. So a lot of, lot of question marks about. It's no how, question marks. It's not right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not right. Absolutely. It's offensive and all wrong. Mm -hmm. And it was very frightening. Yes. <laughs> but that was fast fictional news. And, uh, you know, we end on a, again, keep up alive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. We're going to take another break. And when we come back, we're going to jump right into the interview with Miss Felta because I have a lot of questions. Wonderful. Awesome. Can't wait. Right here on Fashion Victuals Radio. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to Fashion Victuals Radio right here on ripradionetwork.com. Now, we are sitting here with Miss Velta. Hello. Hello. And she actually has a lot for us to know about as far as when it comes to our hair, when it comes to our skin, and when it comes to our bodies. So I'm going to let you have the floor because I know you have a lot to talk about. <laughs> So I guess we should, I would like to start with skincare first, mm -hmm. um, especially facial skincare. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that, and this is something that of course women care deeply about because we care about how we look before we leave the house and when we of go to course. bed. What are some of the routines that you can tell us about when it comes to skincare and especially facial care? Mm -hmm. um, well, First of all, just a, just a routine. Um, it doesn't matter what season it is. The res the routine is if if um, you're using makeup or even if you don't, you still want to always wash your face and um, use a cleanser Absolutely. to cleanse your skin. A again, whether you're using makeup or you don't, you still have you know all the oils and everything from the outside just resting on your skin, mm -hmm. even if you can't see it. Right. So we want to definitely cleanse our skin every night. Every night. Yes. Um, and uh, exfoliating is also important um, during the winter and during the uh, warmer um, weather. During the winter, we want to get rid of that dry skin that we have. Mm -hmm. um, and again, sometimes if you don't use the makeup, you can't really see it until you that start putting true. powder on or uh, foundation on, and then you kind of can see where where is it. But right. it is there, so we want to use something um, a, a nice and um, not very heavy, but we want to use something that um, takes it off 
uh, pretty well and then moisturize our skin. You can use a toner, mm -hmm. you can use a serum after that and moisturize your skin. Um, it can be a moisturizer like a cream or it can be oil. You okay. Know, oils are very popular right now. We have oils everywhere available yeah. to us. Essential oils, this kind of oils, that kind of oils. Yep. And, and even if you have even if you have oil that you use for cooking, you can still that is actually true. use. Olive oil. S olive oil, um, mm -hmm. avocado oil, you yep. know. Um, so that's, well, that's number one, is that we have to cleanse and we have to exfoliate. Exfoliating is not every day, like once a week, uh, but cleansing and moisturizing our skin is um, very important. And obviously the moisturizers will be heavier during the uh, cold seasons because our skin dries out and it needs yeah. nourishment and it needs that moisture that you don't have because of the outside and inside. That like the correct. heaters are just drying everything, your skin, your, you know, <laughs> your nose, you know, like <laughs> everything. Um, so that is something, um, something very important, I would say. So, so I have a question. When exfoliating, can you tell the audience, for those who may not exfoliate on a regular basis or mm -hmm. exfoliate at all, what does exfoliation do for your facial, I mean, for your skin when you're exfoliating? Well, again, the exfoliator is taking off the dead skin that you have because when your skin dries, you, you have these dry spots and then you have this dead skin that is really sometimes my, you know, it's it's not really visible to you mm -hmm. right away. Um, so with with the when you're massaging, you're exfoliating and you're taking off the dead skin, gotcha. and you're um, pretty much you know purifying, um, getting the oil and all the dirt off of your skin. So when you exfoliate, you want to um, kind of um, you want to use your ring and a pinky finger. Okay. Um, because when you're exfoliating, you don't want to overdo it like that. So yes, like because that's okay. that's your, um, that's your um, how to say it? T-zones? Part mm, of your T-zones? No, it's the lightest touch. Okay. So if you do it like, like this, instead of like that, you know, it's oh, the lighter touch. Gotcha. So if you have a sensitive skin, you mm -hmm. don't want to be rough with your skin because it's going to make it um, irritated and red. Right. Um, so yeah, so basically it just takes off all your impurities and takes off your dead skin that you don't want to have. Okay. Um, so that's, that's what exfoliators do is just, yeah, scrubbing your skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So with the facial, then we come, we come to the body portion mm -hmm. and I know that there are certain body scrubs that people mm -hmm. recommend to use like a salt scrub, a sugar scrub mm -hmm. to kind of bring moisture and I guess it works like it's the same thing it's no exfoliator it's exactly, exactly the same thing and uh, just like for the face you can use oil um, you can add oil into your exfoliator especially for the body so you are exfoliating and moisturizing at the same, same time. time so when you get out of the shower because it's you you just you already scrubbed it and you got the oil on and you're already pretty you know Moisturized. Moisturized. So that's always a good thing. And it's it's so easy to make exfoliators for your body. You know, it's like coffee, coffee grinds, um, sugar, salt. You can use any of that. You just, you know, add some oil to it and In add way. some, um, you can add a little um, like lemon or you can add um, some essential oil to, um, mm -hmm. to give it a smell that you like, but right. really any oil, avocado oil, olive oil, um, there's rosemary oils, mm -hmm. you know, all these orga organic oils or like we said, you know, coconut, um, all that stuff, cocoa, yep. Um, and it, you just use it. You just make fresh batches. It's really cool. You don't really need to get anything. That is just true. Just go in the kitchen, grab your stuff, mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> it may be cheaper. <laughs> I, I think so. <laughs> now, is there a big difference between using a sugar scrub, a salt scrub, or a mm -hmm. coffee scrub? Um, well, the, sh the, the, the salt is... It can irritate your skin if you have any cuts or anything like that, if mm -hmm. your skin is sensitive, you know, to the touch. So when you use salt, that can be the case. So gotcha. 
I think I think that sugar is just more like safe. Okay. But there's not really there's not really a big difference because you're using you're using that for for just that um, effect to okay. to scrub your skin. That's what it gives you. And um, uh, there's like there's some scrubs for the face and for the body that have um, I think um, oh my gosh like apricot kernels or something like that oh i've seen those yeah, yeah so so those are so those are uh pretty rough Th those mm -hmm. can be you know those are not good for sensitive skin so that's why coffee and sugar is much smoother but it's Milder. still yeah it still gets the job done okay yeah that makes sense so yeah so with soul just be careful you know make sure you don't have any cuts <laughs> Yeah. Open wounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Because that's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's yeah. go on to the hair. Um, well, there's there's also, um, I wanted to oh. give um, our, our listeners some, some actually, oh, yes. I have Please some do. things that they can actually make. Um, and another thing is that um, since we're coming into the spring, uh, a good thing to do is to look through your cabinet and look at all your products and please, please throw out all your old stuff. Mm -hmm. Do not keep mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. for two, three years, four or yeah. five years and work. use them because they are not working it does not and work. they collect <laughs> bacteria and it's not good. Please and then just the smell is not the same either. <laughs> it's not the same, exactly. So spring cleaning, guys, come Absolutely. on. Get rid of it if it's over six months or twelve months for sure oh yeah absolutely, absolutely get rid of it so that's very important um, also for the springtime we want to go with moisturizers from from heavier moisturizers into lighter moisturizers the same as exfoliators we're moving into a lighter um, direction because of the humidity and other things we, we don't need all this you know Mm -hmm. oily stuff and heavy stuff on us um, and um, definitely want to uh, load up on vitamin E um, and vitamin C vitamin C serums are awesome so very very essential yes <laughs> very essential um, and so I actually wanted to give some recipes um, that are organic and natural that you guys can make um, at home yourself. Um, so, so anyway, right, let's go there's, the list there's this cool tuning in to <laughs> tune in. <laughs> so there's this cool uh, pumpkin sugar scrub, right? Okay. And it's really good for sensitive skin. So we take one cup of brown sugar, write it down, guys, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> One cup of brown one sugar, cup of brown sugar uh, half a teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, uh, oh. ha half a cup of uh, the, how do you pronounce it, jojoba oil? Oh, jojoba I oil. Jojoba, we, I say it in the European way, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Jojoba mm -hmm. oil or coconut oil. Yes. Um, and then um, take vitamin E capsules, which I said vitamin E, vitamin mm -hmm. C are good, um, and just drop it in there. So you're adding vitamin E into your own. Okay. So do you break thing. it? Because I know with the capsules, yeah. it's sometimes it's like. Yes, you break it. Okay. You break it and just, just put it in there. Gotcha. Um, and also you can um, add a little bit of vitamin E oil as well. Okay. Um, and so you just uh, combine it all, mix it all, and with a light pressure, just Put it on your face. Yes, Remember it's a scrub, so you're ring. exfoliating. Remember, ring finger and pinky, pinky, right? And avoid eye area, please. Never put stuff in your eye area, okay? Unless it's an eye serum, yeah. That's a good please point. Please don't do that. Because <laughs> I know people would probably go all the way right up yes, underneath yes. the eye. And Guys, not a good idea because eyes are the most uh, sensitive. So it's the most sensitive area. So mm -hmm. it, you can react in different ways and some things can get into your eye. And yeah, no, please just don't. Avoid hospitals. Yes, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let, me, let me see. I had, um, talking about eyes here, I'll give you anti-wrinkle eye serum. Oh, there we go. Make your own. Two tablespoons avocado oil, two ta tablespoons um, uh, fractioned coconut oil, which you can buy on Amazon, and it's just, uh, you know, it's um, 
a liquid coconut oil. Just it's always liquid. It doesn't get um, really. Yeah, it doesn't get um, solid. Mm -hmm. um, and so then you're gonna add um, a little bit of um, aloe vera and then vitamin E, again, the capsules, you can add or not add, it's up to you. Um, and you can add cocoa butter for um, more solid texture. So it's not okay. as oily or runny. If you like solid texture, add that. And that can be your um, serum that you can um, use. And again, don't get it into your eye, just around yeah. your eye, that, that would be great. Um, and what else? Um, also apple cider, apple cider vinegar, is really good that's guys. always a popular choice yes 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 because it contains a lot of acids um, which are good from exfoliation and acne and brightening skin so um, you can add um, apple cider to your um, some of your recipes as well okay <coughs> sounds good yes now here's my question because mm -hmm. like you said earlier that we're about to get out of our winter months and go into our summer months. And mm -hmm. even in our summer months, even though we know that the skin is a little more moisturized than usual, but we have to be aware of the sun. Sunscreen, always. Well, sunscreen, you're supposed to wear sunscreen um, at any point. Of, and the people of think the that you're, spo you're supposed, people feel like you're only supposed to wear it like if you're going to the beach or to the pool, no. but you can wear it all the time all the time well in fact they say you're supposed to wear it all the time which is why it's in all our creams day creams now nowadays oh, yeah um even in our um uh, foundations mm -hmm. so yeah they want you to wear it every day and if you don't wear uh, makeup then just you can add it a little bit to your moisturizer you that's know? a good point that's so, a very good point some some moisturizers don't have it because let's say you like you like the feel of this night cream mm -hmm. and you want to wear it during the day well add a little bit of sunscreen to it and and there you go okay that makes perfect yeah. sense but that's that's um yeah that was my other thing is like sunscreen you have to wear sunscreen <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any tips on those who, like like I said, during the spring and summertime, there's always bugs and insect bites. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything that people can use for their skin when they get bit like by an insect? Like mosquitoes, of course, is one. Because you know how they people tend to get red or whelp up. Is there anything that you can recommend people use around that time? Besides whatever is, whatever <laughs> is out there? <laughs> um, I don't know. I did not think about that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking. I, I'm not sure. Because I know that a lot of things that you told us today is pretty much stuff that you can use at home. So that's all yes, I'm, I'm thinking um, what would be calming uh, absolutely calming <laughs> absolutely calming so definitely you know you can put uh, probably some coconut oil first of all disinfect it and then put some coconut oil to keep it moisture and um, it has a little bit of the um, like antibacterial mm -hmm. qualities to it so yeah okay something like that okay yeah it's 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 amazing how these oils they they have so many things that oh, yeah, they absolutely. Th that they do they have so many awesome things packed with them and you can use it you know you can eat it you can drink it you can put it on your face you can put it on your hair it's yep. it's amazing exactly and i'm very glad that now we are coming to it where we we are going towards the natural things. Oh and, yeah, absolutely. And making organic. things ourselves and organic and um, oils and you know. Yep. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm very glad that we're going into that direction. <laughs> now for hair. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about hair because I mean, so many people either love their hair and take good <laughs> care of it, or some people hate it and can't stand it. Yeah. And then some people suffer from alopecia where they're yes. losing their hair. Yes. So what is some things that you can recommend for women mm -hmm. with different hair issues? <laughs> with different hair issues. Um, well, first of all, again, guys, tune in over here and and grab your pens or whatever that that it is you're using Another for recipe. your notes really good recipe guys mm -hmm. it's it's a smoothie actually that you drink really yes 
Um, so it's um, almond butter fig hair smoothie because it's basically oh. it has all these ingredients that will um, help you with your hair for ha for the hair to grow faster mm -hmm. um, for the hair to be more silky and shiny it's 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 uh, stimulating it's stimulating your your hair growth and you know gotcha yeah so we're gonna take almond milk almond milk yogurt um, collagen protein that's because, always a good one. I have that at home. Mm -hmm, that's um, strengthening your uh, follicles. Um, and then um, almond butter, figs, and they can be dried. I mean, they mm -hmm. don't have to be yeah, fresh. Uh, frozen banana, and okay. sprinkle some nutmeg and blend. And voila, you're going to have your... That's interesting. Wonderful smoothie it's, it that tastes, is good for you. It tastes good. Because I was going to say, it's, it sounds like it tastes really sweet and good. Because of the think, stuff that's yeah, in it. This is why this, I, found, I found it actually, yeah, I'm using it myself. So, mm. yeah. So that's um, something that's something that... Um, Everybody can do and um, make in the morning or whenever, and just you know, feed feed your feed your body. Yes, because I think that whatever you put in your body mm -hmm. displays what comes out of your body. So mm -hmm. I'm all for smoothie making in the morning. Yes, putting collagen in it. Like I put spirulina in my smoothie. That's, or yeah, the well, green that's a superfood. Super right yep, there you mm -hmm. go. Yeah, exactly. I'm all about that. <laughs> yes. Um, so, so what what I wanted to talk about is, um, you know, women have have this thing is that you said they either love their hair, which being a hairstylist, I don't I don't find too many clients that love their hair. Most of them don't like their hair, <laughs> and most of them want if they're curly, they want it straight. If they're straight, they want it curly, and you know, if there's a lot, they want less, and it's they're always unhappy with what they have and that is yeah. a human nature um so the first thing for everybody to do is take care of themselves and take care of their um their hair is um, actually take care of the inside mm -hmm. because a lot of problems with hair come from actually inside because um I, I I brought the pictures, but I don't know if you guys want to use it or not. <laughs> but it shows it shows the hair, so the people don't understand it really how it works. Gotcha. The hair looks like a like a like a tulip bulb, right? Yep. Like the bulb, mm -hmm. and um, it is connected to our to um, our um, blood vessels. Mm -hmm. So basically, what we're feeding the hair from the inside. There you go. That comes out, right? Whatever we're putting on top, yes, it's great, but it only penetrates so far. Yep. And then it does nothing else. Right. And whatever is hanging, whatever we have out here, this is dead hair. I mean, mm -hmm. you can make it smooth, whatever, but it's not going to, whatever you put on it, it's not going to stop from stop it from falling out. Or gotcha. Uh, change anything really what we what we need to change whoever needs that change needs to take vitamins need to change mm -hmm. uh, their diet needs to drink a lot of water hot Definitely water is water. great hot water is great for your hair and digestion to drink um, throughout the day and uh, vitamins take Definitely a lot of vitamins, vitamins. Um, and then um, what else where was it going with that <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, coming from coming from the winter into spring, okay. so we're going to deal with humidity. Absolutely. And people with fine hair hate it because their hair goes flat. Mm -hmm. And people with curly hair, that it gets don't, poofy. It gets poofy. Yes. Exactly. My hair is like a lion's mane <laughs> during the summer months. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, so again, what we want to do, we want to use um, some products um, and um, I like dry powders. Okay. Dry powders um, are good for absorbing oils and impurities and you know all the stuff that we get mm -hmm. into our hair and dry dry uh, dry powders or some some of them are liquid but they're they're dry shampoos gotcha. basically so you can use it on a second day like you wash your hair you style it and then your hair doesn't look 
the same anymore because you that slept on true. it, because you walked around and this, you worked out. And then I like the dry shampoos because you can extend your good hair day. That is true. With a dry shampoo. You use it up, you use it um, and put it, in, my model didn't come. I was going to show it. It's okay. Um, so, <laughs> Yeah, so you use it on uh, basically your roots, and it kind of absorbs the, all the impurities and gotcha. gives you a fresher look. It, you know, takes care of the smell and everything, and that way you can um, straighten your hair and there get uh, like another two days of a nice style, or you can curl it up. Um, so yeah, it's. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Any other tips that you can give our audience on what to do as far as hair? You gave us skin tips, mm -hmm. you gave us a few recipes on skin, you gave us a, a smoothie hair recipe. Definitely. Now, what to do, what do you mean? Uh, oh, <laughs> I have a list of things I would like to do with my hair. But, I, <laughs> but okay, so one would be working out. Okay. You know, now is the time everyone's in the gym because they wanna have that hot summer body Yes. What is some things that they can do from the sweat when they start sweating and stuff like that? Hair gets frizzy or hair gets flat. Like different types and styles of hair go through different transitions when they're in the gym. So okay. what are some recommendations that you can tell our audience what they can do with their hair when they're in the gym as, as far as like protecting it? Oh, protecting their hair mm -hmm. from, from sweat? Yes, I don't want. I don't <laughs> not want. To I told you. I just I, told you. Dry shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Okay, I don't. Okay, so dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. And now let's say that they didn't use the dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. And okay. Oh, for okay. me, for mm -hmm. instance, my hair gets very poofy. Like the drop of water. My hair is four times bigger than what it is now. Okay, so when you go to the gym mm -hmm. after you get out, your hair is all poofy. Yes. Okay. Because it's wet from the sweat. Right. So dry shampoo doesn't work for me. So is there anything else that I would be able to do with my hair? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So so what do you usually do? Do you just go and wash your hair? Yeah. Yes or not? I do. <laughs> it's, it's a job washing my hair. Right. It takes a long time. I end up having to part my hair in sections just to, you know, wash mm -hmm. it and condition it just so that I can know that it's gone thoroughly through. Mm -hmm. um, so it takes longer. So I may not always wash my hair when I go to the gym because it's just a right. process. Well, uh, well, when I when I was talking about the dry shampoo, I'm not talking about it being targeted towards a specific kind of hair. It, you can you can use that like mm -hmm. if you you know like you said you um, put your hair down and you pull it apart and then you you know just pick up pick up your hair a little bit and spray some yep. so it would take that oh. that sweat that it has all the oils and the sweat that you just got from your gym mm -hmm. it's going to absorb it okay so you can then uh, either brush your hair back, pull it back again, um, or you can put any smoothing, um, any smoothing serums that you use, or okay. thermal protection, or maybe a little bit of oil um, uh, with with some something that you use, and then put that through and okay. calm it down, or you know straighten it, and then pull it back or leave it down, whatever that it is you want. Okay. But that is that is what's gonna calm it down gotcha is that okay you need you need to put some um some thermal protection some smoothing smoothing product on top on top of it but gotcha. um that that would help with that particular problem which is what i was saying gotcha okay no problem yeah. and that's for all hair types doesn't matter okay i know a few brands that i do like as far as dry shampoo that mm -hmm. i like using so i will try it that way too. i mean yeah they're they're a little pricey but there are some there are some um good ones that um are not very expensive mm -hmm. um and i think there's living proof one living proof yeah you can buy it at sephora it's okay. 18 bucks because there's like dry bar um 
Ah, uh, yes, that's a popular one. There's brand. Dry Bar, yeah, there's like all different ones, but they're like $23, $28. Mm-hmm. It's, a little, it's a little pricey. But there are some, if you, you know, look look up online, like the one that I really like is the Living Proof. It's, it's affordable mm-hmm. and it's good. Okay. So, Living Proof. Living yeah. Proof. Living Proof. Like 18 bucks. You can do it. <laughs> Now, if anyone wanted to find you, where can they find you as far as social media or anything? Mm-hmm. If they want to ask questions later or. Yes. So <laughs> I am. I am on uh, Instagram and um, that is Velta, uh, Velta Artist, I think. Hair by Velta. That's all that held. Velta Artist is on Twitter. <laughs> Hair by Velta is on Instagram. Um, and also my website is veltahairstudio.com. Awesome. And you can see what I've done. You can see all kinds of pictures. I have a, a, an extensive gallery. Um, also on, on uh, my Instagram, you can see my work as well. Um, and there's... You know, on my website, you can see what I've done. Um, ask me questions. So there you go. please make an uh, appointment. Don't hesitate. Make an appointment. <laughs> yes, I'm in Virginia, though. Oh, well, that's not far. Yes. <laughs> um, so my website has an address. Um, I currently work in Burke, Virginia. Okay. Uh, for now. So. Okay. All right. Well, Ms. Felta, thank you so much for coming through and giving us some good advice on our hair, our skin, recipes as well that we'll be using. Recipes, yes. Yes. So make sure you use them. If you all want the recipes, we're going to run this on YouTube so you can get the recipes later. Yes. And and definitely um, contact me on um, Instagram if you have any questions or you want me to give you. I have more recipes, guys. So please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. Thank you. All right. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to get into the editorial shade right here on Fashion Victuals Radio. Oh, my God. Okay. Welcome back to Fashion Victuals Radio right here on ripradio.com. We are going to get into the editorial shade. Now, before I throw any shade, Brian, do you have anything that we need to discuss on the editorial shade? You always have something. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I don't know. Something. I don't know if you were there. There's, there's been a lot going on this past week alone. Um, Let's see. One, I'll start. You know, Trump and his his pardon party. Um, his what? Pardon party. Because he let go. He pardoned like about four people. You know, four white collar crime people, and one of them his was the former party. Yeah, and one of them That's was the former owner about. of the San Francisco 49ers who was oh. caught. Yeah, who was caught for fraud and financial fraud and everything. So, oh my. And he, so he pardoned him. So I'm like, I can't. Please he figures burn. since he, he got away with certain things, yeah. why not let everyone else yeah, get away with so, certain things? Um, that's one thing. One, it, but He's just trying to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, But the one thing that really stood out to me was um, on Monday, there is this, you know, the, on the um, Real Talk Uncensored show, they were talking about this video of this woman who cut his daughter's her daughter's hair. I saw that. Yeah. Oh my God, it was so tragic. So. Oh, it was so, so they, they, sad. Yeah. So it was all disgusting and all that stuff. But the some of the phone calls that were made, mostly it was guys, which was kind of surprising. Well, um, the guy was the one who went to get his daughter's yeah, hair done. Right. So, but there was this one guy in particular. He claimed the fact that he tried to be quote unquote devil's advocate, mm-hmm, but really was mm-hmm. like, dude, you're just putting out ignorance because he claimed the fact that, you know. He's like, you have to, because based off of what the parents were doing, you felt like you should sacrifice your kids to find peace within yourself, within this what relationship. What does that mean? That's what I felt like. It just, it didn't make any sense to even state, make that statement, have, have your kids be pawns or sacrifice in that particular situation. What does, I mean, I don't, why would you want to do that to your children? I don't know. But that whole scenario in, in general is like, to me personally, was like that woman is, is 
it was just all up wrong. It is because like absolutely, either, you, you're just like either you had hate for your boyfriend or your ex, your baby daddy, because he went out and did this, or you know the fact that it's like and she claimed it's oh because her hair too tight. If, well, if her if her hair was too tight or twisted too tight. Basically, that's not you know, what she said she in the never video. Said anything. She was smi- before the, all that drama. It was like the girl was smiling, happy. She was looking all beautiful and everything. And next thing, her exactly. The I mean, mother was- said verbatim, "No one's going to touch my baby's hair but me." As she's cutting yeah. the little girl's hair, and honestly, to me, that's traumatic for the child because the little girl looks was so hurt. Mm-hmm. She's like. I just wanted my hair to be pretty. And she was like three. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh my God, I felt so bad. I just felt really bad. I, I felt so, so bad. Since we have a hairstylist. Right. There you go. <laughs> have you ever dealt with, let's say, Brady, having a parent, especially if it was the father, bringing in their daughter and, mm-hmm. you know, and they just want to have their daughter look pretty. I mean, yes. but, but knowing full well that's like there may be some baby mama drama down the line. I mean, have you ever dealt with that? Um, yeah, I actually had um, I actually had this father um, you know, they're separated and the daughter goes between back and forth and he brought his daughter in and she's like three years old and her hair is all messed up and just like, you know, not brushed and all this kind of stuff. And um, and he wanted to cut her hair so we Aww. so we would you know brush it out and cut it and make it look pretty and um and then while we were doing it um he was saying that her mom was probably going to be really upset that he did that that he went and took her to the salon and you know her hair got cut and stuff like that so he was just like i don't you know i don't care i know i'm gonna hear about it she's not gonna be happy she really doesn't like me to touch her hair um and the girl was just you know happy that we got rid of all she had like a bird's nest in the back and it was I, i was like i was so sad i was like oh my god do you you need to brush her hair every day and he goes i i can't she doesn't let me and she comes like that <laughs> so yeah yeah i had that oh, it was wow. funny wow see and like, the, the thing is is like some of the people on the panel of, on real talk were talking about you know they kept saying the mother kept saying you know, these were women he's kept saying it's like i'm gonna do your hair mm-hmm. or have it done before you meet your dad and it's like mm-hmm. well no. if, if, if you're trying to co-parent mm-hmm. you know and your your husband your baby daddy mm-hmm. you know he using that term it's gonna it's like hey i'm using my money to help my daughter right. to get her hair done right i'm gonna use my money to get my son to get a haircut and right you're gonna be, why are you complaining i never uh, understood but that. see here's my issue would it be the same way if the son was getting his hair cut though yes Actually, i had surprised. that too really yes i had that too the same thing oh my God. Yes, and it's usually the moms that don't want the dads to like mess with kids' hair while they're visiting them. Uh, yeah, I had that. Women, That's I'm so sorry. crazy to me. <laughs> and and I don't know if it has to do anything with only I'm going to touch their hair or whatever. It's in that particular, you know, kind yeah. of thing. I feel like the woman just doesn't she wants to control that and she's like mm, you not going yeah. to take care of that i am taking care of that and that is you know that's only me don't dare to do that, mm. that i mean that's what i think i don't know oh my god that's my opinion but i've had that yeah yeah see that's i, I so see I, like i said a couple weeks ago here's a funny thing you i said a couple weeks ago we talked about that british kid who had this the, long like, the hair boy with the hair yeah long hair and the school system told him there were two schools. He was trying to get to schools, and there were two sc- schools that denied him because of he had way too much long hair. Mm-hmm. I recommended to have it cut, and I felt it's like that's just too long. Mm-hmm. And then he had you, beautiful hair. you, you, just like you know, pretty much like a mom would say, "It's like no, don't touch that beautiful hair. That's mm-hmm. gonna stay on his head." And I was like, <laughs> "What are you talking that, about?" Okay, that part I understand because after a certain length, I mean, you you get fearful of cutting your child's hair because, like I told you, the texture of the child's hair changes if you cut it too soon. That little boy had beautiful hair, beautiful hair. He's eight. So, okay, again, revert back to this story. Three years old. Little girl gets her hair cut just out of the blue the, by her but, mom. But you could tell by the mother's anger. It's not like the father went and cut the child's hair. She just got her hair braided. That's it. Mm. 
He didn't. It wasn't even like it was. It was like he did anything wrong. He just wanted his daughter's hair to be well, pretty. Right. So do you feel like that was a principle of hers, or what, um, what was like? I think why the was overall she doing that? issue the mom did that is because of control. She wanted yeah. the control factor. Yeah. And okay, so to me, I guess. I would be livid more. I would be more mad if it was my daughter than my son. Like, I can understand. Like, if we had a discussion and you said, I want to cut our son's hair, that's something that we need to talk about. What's there to talk about? First of all, you're not going to take my baby. (laughs) (laughs) And one minute, he has hair down his back. And then when he gets home, he has no hair at all. That's a traumatic change. Okay. Keep That's a traumatic change, but there, but but it doesn't have to be a traumatic change. It can be just a haircut, like I. I said I was I, talking about. It's just a haircut. Yeah. Like the boy already has a short haircut, like a like normal he, boy haircut. Right. If he had like a normal boy haircut, no problem. No problem. Yeah. But since you're telling me that you want to cut all of his long hair off, that's a little different. That's something that has to be discussed. You have to see I, the picture of the little boy's hair. That's the thing. Show her. You need to yeah, pull up the oh, picture. I will pull it up. But you, I believe you had a, a shade to, to mention. <laughs> no, the fact now my shade is against you. <laughs> I think you're wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you think I'm wrong. Okay. Yes. Okay. The here. boy, because anything that's that Here, here's traumatic. Here's the boy again. Here's, let me show you the boy again. You know, I want it, her to see yes. his hair. He has, there it is right there. Oh, wow. He has a lot of hair. Yeah, that's a lot. So, as a stylist, okay, what again? If if your school is telling you that it's like, that is a little, and he's a model. Okay, I mean, I I see he's a mo- I, he's beautiful. He is beautiful. I see. Yeah, but the hair is a little way too. It is out a lot there. though. It is a lot of hair. Yeah, S- but there's things. It's that It's not can just be a done. lot of hair. It's a lot of long hair. Exactly. I can only imagine how it is to wash it and to treat it right. and to do all of that that's a lot for Told a kid you. so then I, so then it's like <laughs> a full-time job for mom to take care of his hair but <laughs> the fact that they have his hair like that the school is mm-hmm. suggesting them that the parents need to cut his hair well maybe they say just like you know trim it make it look not as out of control but there's too some, much but i think there's some styles that can control the hair and how big it is yeah instead of cutting it completely no i agree with you they could they could just shape it maybe be a little sh- a little shorter mm-hmm. shape it and I'm sure they're using product in it, but it's right. just so much hair that it is a lot he of just hair. looks. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're if you and the father broke up, mm-hmm. and you're a parent, and then your his father took him to get a haircut, and you he came home with none of that hair. Yeah, well, I see where that could be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> see, Brian, that that could be I an issue. Say, though. All I said is like we need to cut it. I didn't say to make him go bald. I'm just saying the main least a. He, I agree the fact he's a model. So at least have it to the point where it's like it doesn't, it does his look does not that's ultimately his look. change exactly. So, but exactly. It, just to the point where it's like it has to be manageable. We want to put him in the school. He has to learn because a you didn't want him to be homeschooled. So at least it's like okay, let's why don't we just to make it manageable? Go to a stylist who you know okay. who probably can manage that hair hair. And okay. if it, if it's trimmed down, here's my thing. Would it be any different if it was a little girl? Yeah, I believe some different. I mean, but mind you, you and I lived in different time periods. I've seen some way, pretty, pretty, pretty much Belton could probably remember this, some big 80s hair that was mm-hmm. pretty much ridiculous. We're not that far apart in age. Oh, good. Most so-so years. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, the point is, is the fact is like we see so much big '80s hair with I a whole bunch of that. products going on, like and and literally teachers had to say, "Hey, we need to trim that stuff down." So it's it's like, come on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be too big, but it is like at least one it has to be manageable. As as a parent, it has to be manageable because I can't, yeah I and if, especially if it's a single parent. You know, to where I have to take my child but every day you know, you know, to get it managed. No, it's the point where it's like, hey, I gotta manage it myself. You know, as best as I can, and something like this on a daily basis. Come on, that is just too much work. 
<laughs> He's our stylist. I don't. I don't know. It's 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 kind of a, you know tricky tricky thing. You know. Now, if, it was the, a, if the the boy is a model, he's that's his look, that his is. individuality. But um, again, I, it's it could be managed and and not cut, but you know, just maybe cut a little bit mm -hmm. and maybe thinned a little bit so it had sh shape and fell down, not like this, mm -hmm. but more. Um, manageable just be more manageable yeah and because I'm sure in school there there are also uh, you know other kids that absolutely are may, maybe saying things making fun or, or who knows Aww. pulling like uh, you 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 don't know I don't know yeah I mean but they could even put it in a ponytail that boy's hair is just all over the place they could have that looks too you cannot put that hair in a ponytail yeah, so, <laughs> so you're trying to save, save the <laughs> you hair you can't because, it, like it is, it's a part of his look. He's a lo he's a model. It's part of his look. He's yeah. also eight. But the, I mean, the fact is he's here, making a check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fact is here that the dad cut off like all like all his hair, right? And that and that was not that was not right. See, so I wouldn't. I would have a whole. It will be like World War Three if I came home, or my son came home and he went from looking like that to no hair. Or very short hair, because you, now now try to grow that hair back. If the agency goes, oh, um, yeah, like yeah, what happened to his hair? no, what happened? He doesn't look the same. <laughs> Again, at least they'll have some recommendations. No, no, no. Here's, the, so. here's, the, here's the thing: <laughs> if he's a model, that means they're paying him professionally to model with mm -hmm. the look he has. Mm -hmm. So therefore. Yeah. Then, then, like I said, they should offer some recommendations to stylists or whoever to how to maintain that. Janae? That hair can be managed. So you say. Because you want to keep that yet. Opinions, opinions, opinions. All <laughs> <See>? day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My child's bringing home money. Why not? That's that's a good look. Shoot, but he's not getting ed educated. That's the problem. <sighs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> so you say. Homeschooling. It's going to be Who's all the home to homeschool? It's going to be all you? the rave in 10 years. I'm telling you. <laughs> The way these kids are on their computers, it can be done. Yeah. Anywho, you have any help, any extra shame for yourself? <sighs> I do. I feel overworked. <laughs> I do. I feel overworked. Um, I think that. Okay, so I really can't complain too much about the company I work for. I love the company I work for. They're very fair. They they are very firm believers in family. Like they, their their big thing is families first, um, and then you can work remote. Like I have no complaints, but with all that comes extra work. I feel like it's one of those things where it's, um, oh, we'll give you all this, but you got to do all this to mm -hmm. get it, you know. And I'm just like, man, this is this is a lot. This is a lot. And then you think about it, it's like. I think I should get paid more for the work that I do, but does it average out to the fact that you can work from home often as you want? You can deal with family matters easier because the company is a little more lenient with you. It's like things that you have to like think about. So that's kind of like my shade right now and a little limbo that I'm in. So mm. it's unfortunate. I want to work from home more often. <laughs> I mean, I do, but yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So, I've been having a lot of couple, a lot of late nights lately. So, well, it's a blessing to have a work actually. That it is. That yeah. it is. I'm very thankful. You are blessed for my job. <laughs> and like I said, I love the company I work for. I think they're great. I like what they stand for, and I see a future there as far as growth and potential. I just wish you're just tired. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I am. Other than that, um, I don't have much shade, Brian. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Tune in next week. Fashion Victuals Radio. Thank you, Miss Felta, for coming in. Thank you for having me. And make sure you all check out her website. If you can t run it by us one more time. Yes, the website is um, Velta, V-E-L-T-A, hairstudio.com. And your Instagram? Check me out. 
And that was Hair by Velta there you on go. Instagram. And make sure you check her out. Ask her all the questions, especially about yes. some of the recipes that she gave us today. And tune in next week. And also next Saturday, February 29th, is the Rippies 2020. Make sure you are there. Tickets are still on sale right now. And if you go to Fashion Victuals and use our code, you will get a discount. And make sure you vote. Tonight is the last night to vote for me <laughs> for Female Personality of the Year. See you later.